What is that? There's a hole. Uh, yeah, I can see that. What's it doing there? Well, I woke up this morning. Then there was a hole. What are you going to do about it? I put a rug over it. Yeah, it fell in the hole. Should we call the police or something? Oh, yeah, I called the police, yeah. Well, where are they? They're in the hole. Hey up, chaps! Plumber Dude Gaming here. Now, back with Night in the Woods. Last episode, we left on a cliffhanger. Is May okay? Well, let's find out. Anyway, nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you are way better at this than I am. I'm not this good at, like, anything. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. I like them. Huh, I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone over there. Secret? I live in a tree. I'd believe that. Yes. Okay, well... Yeah, and a bit of a twist, you play as Greg now. Ain't that awesome? So, uh... Yeah, let's see what Angus is up to, or look out the window. And let's see the dude. He was outside my building last night. Late. You called the cops? Yeah, I called. They sent someone by. He was gone. Also, it's not legal illegal to stand on the street. I guess not. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Captain. Hey, bug. Uh, okay. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh. My throat is a little bit scratchy. I've been recording a lot. Okay. All right. You making like three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making the lasagna we got and forgot about. Are brownies and lasagna a good combo? We haven't been shopping in a week. Hey, hon. You should maybe go sleep or something. You've barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This, the stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. We're going to make it through this. I don't know why I read it like that. <laughs> We're going to make it through this. Love ya. Love you. Yeah. Again, I don't disapprove of their relationship. I just feel awkward reading it. Because, uh... You know... <laughs> it's just something I don't read every day, I guess. Because, again, I like how th th they have this relationship. It's, it's good. More shit should have that, but... Eh, I don't know. I just feel a little awkward reading it. But then again, I feel awkward when it's both a guy and a girl. So, I guess I just, uh, I'm awkward with this love thing. Anyway, I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I'm a skater. Skate and destroy. I use my powers for good. So, is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. Maybe they're at the hospital? She might be, like, brain dead or something. More so than usual. Dude! Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. Jeez. Getting dark earlier. I guess I'll just stand here then. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, yeah, sir. Wait, everybody shut up! No one was talking. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door! What? Everyone be very quiet. Crap. Ooh, another cliffhanger! Double cliffhanger! Double cliffhanger! Oh, hey, there's May. She's fine. She, she, she's okay. She, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. 
You know, I've taken harder falls. Right, right, she'll be fine. Please tell me she'll be okay. May, you're you're not looking so hot. You going to make it? Who boy? Well, he made it out to the road at least. That's somewhere. Who owns these mailboxes? I don't see any houses. Oh no, she's down again. Oh god, we're at church now. Oh look, all of our friends have showed up. Selmers, Lori, Shazakov. Yeah, if you don't talk to them like at all during the game, they don't show up here. So that's why I, you know, went out of my way to talk to them and shit. Cause it's nice to have all these people here. God is here, in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please, God, let May be okay. She's really a nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in my movie, and I want her to make. I mean, I want to make. Throw kill, which cult? I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Myers. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She, I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as that kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple of years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair. That may of all people should be have been in trouble. Where is the god in that? Where is the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh... Okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes, folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down to the end of the center ave. And someone was out there hunting illegally, and they got shot at, and May fell in. She must have fallen off a million things a million times, and it takes all it takes is landing the wrong way one time and. Oh. Well, I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she. Whoa, Morgan Freeman janitor is making the world shift. What the hell? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? 
Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. <laughs> the house is gone. May? Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. Whoa. Okay, she's waking up. That's good. Yeah, this is like the end game now, so uh, pretty soon this will be all over. Anyway, yeah, I'm wrapping this all up in one episode, and the epilogue will be next episode. So, yeah. Anyway, May goes back home, goes to her bed, and then she walks all the way back to Greg's place, I guess. I mean, where else would she be going? Crap. Greg? Holy crap, May! It's May! Holy crap. Holy shit, dude. I thought you were gonna be dead. Not yet. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Yeah, I agree with you there. Do I have to stop playing? No, this sounds good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like, wander out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's all right. Me too. She's a good person. Both of you. I mean, both of you. Shh. No. What? It's that noisy. <laughs> so, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since possibilities closed down. I thought you two were uh, trying to save money. What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the guy, uh, delivery guy is safe. We can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide in here until we die. Alright, well, as long as we, there's a plan. Hello? Well, look who's awake. It's him, it's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Yay, pizza. Oh uh, boy. Ooh, all right, I can't eat that. So what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice, that's basically a coma. Uh, yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision. Okay, I time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. 
Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you too, sweetie. Ugh. Hey, Angus. How's things? You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, uh, but, you know, there isn't anything in there. So I'd, like, puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. But for the moment, at least. Ah, uh, poor May. Why even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played that, that at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not, not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Then I just get seriously injured like that again, okay? Can we call it a sack? Yeah, we can all hit the sack. We may need sleep. Sure, dude. Hey! Everybody go to bed now! Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave? Safe for me, at least. Nobody's been following me. I wasn't in the woods the other night. Oh, right. I'll keep an eye out. Also, I got mace. You carry mace? Since that dude followed me home from that, you know, that one time. Oh, right. Hey, Mary. Yeah, Germ? What's your name short for? Margaret. Take care of yourself, Margaret. You too, Jeremy. Hold on, I gotta let my dog out. Get out of my room. Alright. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, you said you went all crazy. But, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, date a ghost. I remember that one. I had a hot skeleton. I'll stir or something like that. Heh <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on them dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly like something broke. It was just like pixels. Your computer broke? No, like reality broke. The characters on screen, like I would felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And the lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me alone. And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside my window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by. He was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could have I said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing is there. And I was so scared and angry, I just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just like shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh god, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wonder why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well... Then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. 
Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable, because he does like everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit actually work? Kinda, sort of. It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry, dude. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder or something. A really shitty statue, like, all rusty and metal. And it was these shapes. Oh, and he was just pointing down at me. And I was so scared, I didn't leave my room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally, I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone. And it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head in my life. Dude, you should have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Would have, like, kidnapped you. I, like, couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for longest night. I just stayed in my room. In bed. That's... That's horrible, dude. I... I thought when I came home... I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this... And... 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 Dude. Dude. Shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... <sighs> Bye, guys. Love you. The hole in the center of everything. Spooky, eh? Oh, May, what are you doing? What are you even doing? What are you doing, May? This is a mistake. You shouldn't be doing this. You should not be doing this. I don't agree with you. I just, I don't, I don't agree with you at all. Uh, what are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What is this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk! Fine, let's do this. Ooh. Oh, snap. Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for a shoulder. Ah, you haven't shot me! Hey, asshole! Get away from her! Three of us, one of you. And none of us got bolts sticking out of us. I am gonna... <laughs> wow, holy shit. Um, okay. Greg swore so much, he made up new words that are so bad, they have to be censored. Yeesh. Ah! Ow! Why do you howl? You okay, dude? What are... Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I... I, uh... I had a dream. You were all dead. Out here in the woods. And it was because of me. What does that even mean? Since when are you bad dreams in charge of me? After... I don't know anymore. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You are not gonna do that to me, okay? Okay. We've been best friends since forever. You big dumb idiot. 
And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would have still back you. I mean, I would still back you. To the actual gods on a stand. Jeez, uh, me too. Clearly, clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on. And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... <laughs> Greg. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Foul him, I guess. No, I have to go alone. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, anyway. If he's up in the mine, we might be able to corner him and... Tie him up? Or something. Can you walk me? I... I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. Alright, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Jeez. So much for optimism. Gates open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something. Ah, dang. You're right. No. I have to go down in there. Well, then. Looks like all of, uh, all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang, bang! Hoorah, bang, bang, hoorah! Hero of the hour! Sorry, that's a Green Day song. I like Green Day. Alright, so now we just walk le- Oh, okay. Gee, Spooky! I don't think we get to complain about Spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's Spooky. Nah, dude, we created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. <laughs> it has been a weird few days indeed. Looks like he took the elevator down. So much for the element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. Are you sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't know if you understand. <clears throat> He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I, I don't know what's gonna happen down there. All right then, now we go together. To our demise. Oof, that thing looks old. They haven't used this mine in like a lot of years. Generations even. Are you our tour guide now? We have Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure? Apparently. <laughs> Well, here we are. <coughs> May, are you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like... It's like something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma was. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shh! I heard something. Down there. Guys... <sighs> Sorry. You going to be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah! It'll be silent terrors. It'll be ghosts. Wow, this is ambient. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. That was necessary.
Whoa, hey guys, look, a pentagram. That is such a strange coincidence. It looks like a pentagram. Ah, jeez! What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like, I mean, and like, junk. Oh god, oh god! What is it? It's here! It's here! Oh god! What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here. What is it? What could it be? I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward and you wanna die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. Oh. There they are! They're right there! I'm gonna kill them! Eddie, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're evening. That the girl got shot at the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me, so... Wait, what the... Who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their darnest to protect their own and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? Nobody's gonna kill you. All of this... I mean, all of you are part of the town. By family relation or just be by being hard workers. Contributors! Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be saying much, so whatever. Wait, so you think Eddie? 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 I don't know. He kidnapped that kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or, I've, I've felt it. Was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it? 20 years back or so, after the West Mine closed out past Brittle, Vest Schulmer, Sh Schalmer, I can never say that name, last supervisor, was out there when the company locked off the entrance, carved his initials and date in the door. Then you got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper, abandoned, shoot. Long before any of us were born. Too close to water. And that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or some men from the West Mine came back up here to... I'm sorry. Come back up here, try... To, to try bootlegging. Why is that so weird to me? Okay, okay, back on track. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper, till Ed bursts through that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole and never hits bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams and in waking times, 
So what brought you down here? What? What is it? Black goat! Not even black like the color. Black like space between the stars. He's down there, in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to? You got to understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes. Just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas. Spending our taxes on lazy people and migrants. While we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn it, I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished. Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church. But when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already in there singing to you, right? I, I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? One's E. That's a weird word. Onesie takes a shine into. It rubs off on ya. You can do things. I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked to us, talked us all into doing this. After the first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger. And money came. Still, a few of us left from back then. Picked? First time? Picked? First one was Tom Tuner, who believed you, me, he was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick no one who's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been, oh God, oh no. Casey? The Hartley kid? Ah, all he was gonna contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. But for whatever sad end he'd wind up at, we did him a favor. You killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, right? You know what happened to his cousin. Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was heading. You killed Casey! And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down there the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend! Alright now, throw it down right now or I shoot. <laughs> What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang! Bang! You brought guns down here? Dangerous as far out in the woods. At night. Basic safety. Aye, aye. Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. 
Greg. Dang it. They're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Sprig survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mills puff and smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck at shells at the grocery store. Kids leaving before then they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a piled... Pile... Ah, oh, shit. I fucked up, sorry. A home become a tumbled in pile of wood and plaster. A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we can change that. We can put this place back together. When... Where it won't just be... Shapes. I'm going to die down here. <sighs> Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? Any of you hurting now, financially like? Or is this just some big costume party murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. Snort. It does. Oh darn it, my dogs are barking. Sorry guys, I'm gonna make a cut. Alright guys, back, sorry, my dogs are going crazy, alright, this is real bad, this is insane, why should we help you, because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back, you remember the blizzard of 2010, that's what happens, and beyond that, the jobs never come back, the kids never come back, Everything crumbles, Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon, we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need some time to think it over. So, we can leave. No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut it, Id. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Id, I swear to God. Let's go. Hi, dog. My dog came in. My big dog. Alright, back to the game. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son... You leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. Eh <laughs> I... I can't move, you guys. I'll curl you. My brain's in pieces right now. It's all just empty. I mean, sorry. That's, uh, that's May speaking. It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Poke later. 
All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I... Yeah. And for what? I... I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or, like, picture it. And things it gave them. And so Casey and that kid at Harfest and... Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. They're sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh, I thought I... Um, oh snap. Where did he come from? Yeah, kick his face. Kick his face hole. Let go of me! Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh jeez. He's totally dead. Oh, there's an arm. <laughs> wow. That was crazy! Holy God. Is everyone okay? May! 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 Say something! <laughs> Why are we laughing? <laughs> Sob. Dude, it's okay now. We missed that guy. We we missed the no no. <laughs> uh, we messed that guy up, and he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we getting out of here? Shh. Let me let me rest. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not gonna suffocate. Okay, well that's a relief. How do you? I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Ah. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered. Again. Which is weird. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Come on guys, let's pull this board off. Yep, that's some fresh air all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water. Right. One foot of water, eh? Oh! Alright, I fell down. <laughs> uh oh. I know what you are, now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I spent, sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem. But that's not true. 
I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost. Trying so hard since not to be angry got me all defenseless. And I lost more. And more. And more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out in the window. Last leaf of the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town has wiped out the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt because that means it meant something. And it means I am something, at least. It's <laughs> pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to cure you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just... Very, very tired. Hang in there for a bit. If you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over there. Do you smell that? I bet he did. Whew. This is probably the longest recording yet. But this is the freaking well, not the finale, but this is basically the end of the game right here. So I'm not surprised. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out there. In the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, like, all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body's like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endophorns. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, thank you. Those. Oh, okay, well. Ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. Yeah, I think I said that word right. I kind of was uh, a little fast on accident. Endorphins, right? Endorphins? No, I think it's endorphins. I, m I might have said it wrong. Ah, oh, well. I'm not good with English, as you can see. I keep stumbling over words. Maybe it's because I'm reading too fast. Am I reading too fast? I don't know. Anyway, we're climbing up the hill. The well, we're climbing up the well. See, even when I'm just talking, I mess up my words. Well, well, we're climbing up the well. And out of the well she climbed. She's alive! This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. 
Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives up here. In the woods? <gasps> Wheeze! I don't know how to make a wheezy noise. <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Oh darn it, I'm gonna have to block that out. That's that one friend that doesn't want his, uh, name on my channel and whatever, so. Put it in the mental banks, got to do that. Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can like, get some. How big of an explosion is that? I mean, that small? Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Huh, he has dynamite. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. Well, let's get the frick out of here. Strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean... The elevator's broken, and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense! I guess, but we did cause the death of, like, a dozen guys. No, no, no! They're all still alive down there! Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're the blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So, we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would've. Uh. What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they go all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh, well, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. What's the trolley thing? Well, hold on, what trolley thing? I'm confused, dead. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to end it here. I've been recording for close to an hour now, so after... Uh, after you watch this, uh, look out for the final episode coming tomorrow, because this is a daily series. If you watch this in the future, though, it will be out right now. So, uh, yeah, I've been Palmer Dude Gaming. If you like what you see here, hit the subscribe button and check out some more of my videos. Until next time, thank you everybody for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.